this video is to demonstrate how to do a mail merge. Specifically, we're going to be looking at a progress report, though you can use this method for any mail merge you want to do. But the first question you might ask is, why would you do a mail merge at all? What is it for? What, what does it even do? A mail merge is a way to send a mass amount of email with customized fields in it. So it's a lot like the mass email you can do in total view, but it's more customizable. So for instance, if you wanted to send kids their grades, specific uh, assignments that they're missing or assignments that they points they got on particular quizzes, you can do that in a mail merge, whereas that might not be possible in total view. So let's take a look at how we do this. So the first thing I need to do is set up an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV where that contains the fields that I want to import into my emails. Now I've set this up already. I did it in a previous video, so you'll want to check that out if you don't know how to do this. But let's just take a look briefly at what it looks like. So this is just an export from Stride, a grades export, and I've made some modifications that I described in the other video. I've calculated some percents. I've renamed the fields so that they're a little bit shorter. And I've added a few more columns than I did in that video, but this is just a few additional assignments, quizzes, and then the overall grade. So this includes all the fields I'm going to want in my mail, in my mail merge. Notice that we do have an email field. This is a very important field. It is essential in order to be able to send out the emails. So now that we have this spreadsheet available, all formatted and available, we can start a mail merge in Microsoft Word. So I'm just going to open up Word and open up a new document. So this is a new blank document we'll be starting from. And I'm going to go to the Mailings tab and I'm going to do Start Mail Merge, and then I always do the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. Even after I've done this a million times, I always use the wizard. So I click that. Come over here, this is where we'll be going through the wizard. I want to do email messages, so I click that one. Click Next. I want to use the current document, yes, so click Next. Select Recipients, this is where I'm going to go find that Excel spreadsheet that I saved. So I go click Browse, come into my desktop where I saved it, open it up. If it's an Excel spreadsheet, it'll prompt me for which sheet we should be looking at. I do want the grade sheet, so I click OK. And this will bring in all the students, all the particular rows. Notice that I have the ability here to uncheck certain ones if I want to. I can uncheck them all. I also have the ability to filter if I click on any of these columns. So say for instance that I only want to send emails to people who got zero on this assignment, on this 4.01 assignment. So I could just select zero there and then it would only be the students that got zeros. I don't want that to be the case, actually. I want to send uh, progress reports to everyone, so I'm just going to click all here, and that will take all the students. But just so you know, you can filter in this view. So if you need to do custom for certain subsections of students, you can do that in here. I want all my students, so I'm just going to click OK. And then click Next down here, write your email message. So now, typically, we'd write some uh, some fancy, happy email, and I'm just going to say a very brief one. Hi, and now I want their name, but instead of saying name here, which wouldn't be very personal, I'm going to use one of the mail merge fields. So insert merge field, and I'm going to insert their first name. Hi, first name, comma. So you can see any mail merge field comes in with that those two little brackets around it. That tells you it's a mail merge field. And then I type them like, this is a paragraph. Look at your grades. Something like that. Obviously, I'm not going to send this exact one to students, but just as an example. 
For progress reports, I tend to like to format those as tables. I think they're easier to look at that way. And so I'm just going to insert a table with a few rows and a couple of columns. And then I format these in a particular way. If you have ways you like to format tables, you know, go for it. But I like to do it this way where I will merge these cells. I'll call this unit four so we can see the overall percentage, maybe center it. And now if I want to put the percentage in, that's another mail merge field that's custom by student. So I'm going to go back to the mailings tab, insert merge field, down arrow, and then I go find the unit 4%. Unit 4%, that's where I put it right there. I can also put the unit 4 letter grade in if I want. Unit 4 letter grade. And then I go through and list the individual assignments and quizzes that I want them to look at. So I'm going to pause the video while I do that. Okay, I've got those all filled in now. These are the assignments from the previous week that I'd like them to look at. I usually only do about one week of assignments at a time, otherwise it gets super overwhelming and just tell them to go look at their grade book. So these are the denominators. These are how many points each of these assignments is worth. But the numerators are going to be custom by students. So again, these are going to be mail merge fields. So I want to come up here to insert merge field and I'm going to choose the 401 assignment, the one that I chose there, and that's A401. I have the letter as well, A401 was the number. So I'm going to go into each of these and put the appropriate merge field in. Q401, there it is. There's my quiz 401. Assignment 402. Now remember, I just named these. I, I typed these names in Excel, so I know what I named them. You would presumably know what you named yours as well. Notice also, if instead of the down arrow, you actually click on this button, Insert Mail Merge Fields, it brings up a different interface. I'm not sure why there are two interfaces, but there are. This does the exact same thing. You can select the exact same fields. It's just a different interface. It's a drop down here. It's a little pop-up window here. It's the same idea. I also want to give them an overall grade, overall percentage and grade. So I'll come outside the table and do overall percent, and then overall letter grade. Notice I'm just typing a space in between those. I can modify these any way I would do in Excel. So if I wanted to make that bold or if I wanted to make it purple, those are all things I can do. Once I'm finished writing this and formatting it as I want, maybe I want to make this table a little bit narrower, I can go to preview preview your email message over here on next. So I click that and it will let me preview what it will look like to the students, to each student. If I go back to the mailings tab, you can see it's on number one right here and I can go through them. I can just tab through them, make sure they all look kind of normal. This is where you'll see the numbers formatted weird if they didn't come over right from Excel. So I can just scroll through all of them, make sure they look right. Once I'm done, I've done that, I can go next, complete the merge. I have to click on electronic mail. Two is going to be the email. It'll automatically select that if, you've, if you have a field called email, but that's the important reason. That's the reason you want that email column in your spreadsheet. That is the to field, who you're going to be sending the email to. The subject line, I would just make the same for all of these, progress report. Notice we don't have the option to put mail merge fields in here, so you can't have a custom subject. All the subjects have to be the same. Mail format, if you want these different, you can email it as an attachment, as plain text, or as HTML. And then you can indicate particular records if you only want to do a subset. Now remember, you could select those in the previous screen as well, but additionally, when you're actually sending the mail merge, you can say only records from 1 to 15 or something like that. Then you just click OK, and once you do, it will start and it'll it'll spin for a few minutes usually it takes a couple of minutes to get through a large class of emails and this actually uses outlook so once those emails are sent 
they will appear in your sent folder in Outlook. So you can look for them there and anything you need to do, respond or anything, you can do that from Outlook. So that is how to send a mail merge progress report and you can use that method for any other mail merge as well.